Hi guys, welcome back. Well, tonight I've uh, got a bit of a uh, selection of cars. I've just uh, received a couple of parcels in the mail and I bid on a few uh, auctions online and I won some really nice cars. And I visited a guy's house the other day and he sold me uh, an awesome range of NASCAR Hot Wheels. But we'll start off with the ones I got in the post today. Uh, this is from my mate Gus, uh, Gus McTiernan, who sells on Trade Me. And uh, I've bought a lot of cars off Gus and he's a, a great seller. He doesn't charge a lot for his cars and he gets them out to me pretty quick. So this is the first one tonight. This is a Yat Ming Cadillac Seville. I don't know too much more about it other than that. It's obviously play-worn condition. It's got a few chips and scratches on it. It's a pretty ugly car with a pretty ugly paint job. But I thought, well... You know, I'll get that because at some stage I'm going to be doing some customs. So maybe that might lend itself to some uh, some uh, different wheels and a different colour. But uh, don't see a lot of Yat Mings here in New Zealand. Not a lot of them around. So I thought I'd grab that. It was only a couple of bucks. So that's the first one of the, uh, the haul. Um, second one I've got coming up is another Yat Ming. Um, and this is this is a Corvette, uh, Yatming Corvette. We'll just uh, pop that one on. There you go. Quite a nice little model. Again, pretty play worn, uh, pretty scratched up. But I bought these basically because, as I say, at some stage I'm going to get into doing a few uh, restorations and customizations. So I thought I'd get a few scruffy old cars that are not that collectible but could do with a bit of love. So that's the second one. And the third one I got from Gus is a Ferrari. Um, it's actually a Hot Wheels Ferrari. But it doesn't actually have on the bottom what model it is. So I have no idea what model that is. I think I think it might be a 260 Spider or something like that. But if anybody knows, they can certainly um, let me know in the comments. But it's got some nice wheels on it. Um, it's actually got um, like plastic lensed headlights. It's got a nice clear glass, black interior, as you can see. Pretty, pretty good condition, this one. Uh, there's the, uh, the lensed headlights. They look pretty cool. So, uh, so that was a few that I got from Gus. And then I uh, visited a guy uh, the other day, um, and he had a whole lot of uh, cars for sale. And I wasn't interested in a lot of the stuff that he had, but he did end up showing me a good collection, which I bought the whole lot. Um, but I also bought some loose cars from him, and obviously the first one I'm going to show you tonight, another Ferrari, is a Matchbox Testarossa. Now, I've already got one of these, but the one I've got is pretty scruffy, whereas this one is pretty much immaculate, like a brand new model. That's uh, been in his, apart from that chip on that front left-hand side. But apart from that, and that little chip on the side, but that's pretty much an immaculate car. So that's pretty cool. Really like that model. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the massive big Ferrari on the bonnet. But, hey, well, that's the way it came out, so I'm not going to change that one. It's pretty cool. And then next up, I've got a Matchbox uh, V-Dub delivery van. <clears throat> it's got a bit of a theme on the side. It's got TNT or something. I think it's a motocross, kind of a motocross deal. And that's that one right there, and that's pretty nice. That's a nice metallic silver blue. That's pretty groovy. Real nice. Typical Matchbox... Um, v-dub bus so the ferrari and the v-dub came from the same person um just tilt the back a bit and uh, the next one up is another hot wheels <clears throat> i don't know um i think this is sort of like a like a ford three window coupe hot rod coupe um again it doesn't have anything on the bottom but it's a really nice model it's in really good condition. Uh, that cost me 50 cents, so that was an absolute bargain. Um, so can't complain about that. And next up, we're going to get into the to the racing cars. Um, uh, actually, before we do that, I'll actually show you uh, this one here. I'll just zoom out a wee bit while I change this over because it's in a giant box. It's about the same size, but it's actually a Vanguard's a Vanguard's model, and it's a Morris Minor delivery van, and that's the box that it came in. 
and that is absolutely um, as new. It's been in the box for some considerable time. It's made by Lido in Enfield in the UK. Um, made in England. It's a beautiful model. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, quickly whip that out of the box so you can have a look. But it's in very, very uh, nice condition. The box is immaculate, doesn't have any tears on it. And that's the little car right there. That's a really, really cool um, delivery van. And it's still in its original plastic box. That's the plastic inner box. And that's pretty boring as you uh, see that go around. It's still got the instructions inside. And it's even got a little card that came with it. Collector's card. So that is absolutely uh, a really nice find. And... Uh, wasn't overly expensive considering it's probably quite rare and quite hard to get here in New Zealand don't see a lot of those around next up I got this in a little box a Lotus 3000 Monaco it's made by Champion I think it's French it's a Ford Cosworth it's got all the specifications under there, 420 horsepower, 330 kilometers an hour, first in the Grand Prix of Monaco with the driver Graham Hill. So it's quite a neat car. It comes in this little plastic container, which is quite hard to see. But what I might do is I might just whip that off. This model is absolutely beautiful little model. It's really, really nice. Awesome detail and just beautifully done. So we will just zoom into that. Check that out. That is really cool. The fine detail on it is amazing. Um, the, the, the decals on it are great. The wheels are great. The engine's awesome. So that's completely original. And that didn't cost me more than a couple of bucks off this guy. So I, I think I got an absolute bargain there. That is really, really nice. So next up, I've got a whole stack of NASCAR to go through. So what I'll do is I'll just clear out the area around the turntable because I think we're going to need a bit of extra space here while you're looking at Graham Hill um, circulating. So that's pretty cool. I'll just uh, go through these one by one. I'll just take Graham and his car off and put him back in his little box. That's very cool. It's going to go in the display cabinet alongside my other Formula One stuff. So we'll just zoom back here and grab some of these NASCARs. I'll go. I'll do them in threes. They're in no particular order. Take the turntable away. So what I managed to get is this collection of pro racing Hot Wheels. So uh, pretty neat. They're all uh, limited edition. They've all got um, individual numbers on them. So uh, we'll just go through them one by one. So as you can see by that, we're talking uh, nice stock car anyway. That's pretty cool. And that is Jeff Burton. As you can see, there's Jeff Burton's car. That's pretty cool. Pro Racing, and then the next one up, um, doesn't have who the driver is on this one actually, but it's number 35, it's pretty cool, so there's a few different versions actually, they've got uh, different types, there's this um, premium edition, and then the next one up has got a silver label, which is a trading paint edition so these are all from uh, I believe 1990s 2000s somewhere around there I think I don't know much about these because I haven't got any others in my collection and I've just literally got offered these so that's number 35 that's pretty cool that's a lovely car and I believe um, that the the little card in the back is like a is like a like a trading car, like a baseball card or something like that. And that's all about the car and the driver and stuff like that. Uh, next one is another trading paint. Uh, this is number 21. And this is uh, 
Michael Waltrip. That's his car right there. So that is very cool. I like that one. And uh, we'll just uh, mow through these pretty quickly. Next up, we've got John Andretti, number 43. The detail on these little NES cars is really cool. They've got all the webbing in the windows, and I normally break all my cars out of the packet, but I, I just don't think I will, um, purely because I bought the whole collection, and I think it's worthwhile keeping it. Uh, I'm sure it's not all of the cars available, but it's certainly all the cars that, that, that this gentleman had. Next up, we have got uh, Joe Nemechek, number 42. That's a pretty nice looking car, black and maroon and blue and stuff like that. So I might actually adjust the camera here and actually zoom in a bit more on the cars because all the card art is pretty similar. Just need to get through the blister and make sure you can see them. So that is pretty cool. That's a nice car. Next up, another premiere edition of, uh, this is Ernie Irvine. And that's his car with a picture of him in the background. Looking very uh, spangly with his sunglasses. Number 36, the Skittles car. That is outstanding. I'll just pop that one on the side. Next up, number 89. Doesn't say who this car belongs to, but this is... This is slightly different again. This is what they call a first edition. And that's, uh, you can see the first edition logo on there. 1998 first edition. And that's number 89. That is pretty cool as well. That's a lovely car. Uh, next up, another first edition. Mark Martin, number six. Just uh, move that one out of the way. Mark Martin number six. There you go. Eagle one. Pretty cool car. And next up, another first edition. And this is uh, Ricky Rudd, number 10. Put Ricky's car in there. That's very cool. That's outstanding. Another great car. I got 18 of these in total, so I was pretty pleased. And uh, the guy really didn't charge me a lot at all. I think he, I think he let, I think he let them go pretty cheap. To be fair, okay. Bill Elliott is next, number 94. So we'll just put Bill Elliott's car in there for you. Check that out, number 94. That's pretty cool, McDonald's. And then we've got Kyle Petty, very famous. Kyle Petty. You NASCAR fans will certainly know that name. In fact, all your NASCAR fans will know all of these names. There we go, number 44. And uh, next up, Mark Martin, number 6. So this is a duplicate. Um, but it's a different edition. This is a preview edition. So um, same car, just a slightly different edition. And I don't know what the difference is between the two. One's a premium edition, one's a first edition. So... If anybody knows, you can tell me. Uh, next up, Chad Little, number 97 in the John Deere car. Quite like this because I've got a John Deere tractor, so I don't mind that. And I say tractor, it's a right on lawnmower tractor. Not a real tractor. And uh, then we've got Derek Cope, uh, the number 30 car. This is a quite a nice looking car. Black and black and white and silver. It's pretty delicious. And we're getting down to the last four now. Number 16 next is Ted Musgrave. Uh, this is a really nice car, the Prime Star car. Number 16, here we go. Check that out. And uh, what do we got here next? Number 90. Dick Trickle. Number 90, Dick Trickle. There he is. In the Helig Myers car. And Sterling Marlin next up in the number 40. 
Sterling Marlin. Can't say I've heard of him before. But my NASCAR uh, knowledge is fairly limited. And the very last car that I have here is Johnny Benson. Number 26. Uh, in the pop secret car. Um, Cheerios. Cheerios car with pop secret on the side. There he is. That is a really cool car. So that is pretty much the whole collection of my 18 NASCARs. Um, sorry guys, I've got a real bad cold um, still. Um, and a few of my mail orders that uh, showed up as well. So I hope you enjoyed them all. Uh, it was really uh, good fun getting a few packages on the postage and uh, opening them all up. And then just by sheer luck, I just happened to visit this guy and he mentioned he was uh, moving house and he had a whole pile of Hot Wheels and collector's cars he wanted to get rid of. And he said, look, you know, um, just take them away. Offered me a really good deal on them. So I couldn't turn him down. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers. I've had a lot more come on again lately. So I really appreciate that. Really, uh, um you know appreciate the fact that someone looks at my videos so enjoy them enjoy the cars i'm gonna have lots of fun um putting these in my display and uh please like and subscribe uh, tell your friends i'd like to get a few more subscribers going thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one take care bye